what up y'all and welcome back to another one i never know who's watching when i uh, bust out the old yo 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 in public that is as you can tell we're at the truck stop yep and there's pigeons up there there's pigeons everywhere uh i've been promising y'all and i've been waiting for this bad boy to come in finally i don't know why they didn't deliver it i had to go to the post office to get it check that bad old unit out right there that is a lightweight aluminum big o bird catching net yes it's like 60 bucks off amazon i wanted a nice one it isn't bad i wish that the handle extended a little bit on it but it's real nice i can reach quite a way so we're here uh it's the evening uh the pigeons right now most of them are out feeding so the plan is i'm gonna strap on the gopro i'm gonna leave this camera here at the truck make it easy on myself we're gonna take the old bucket with us. Oh yeah, and we're gonna try to net some pigeons today by hand. Now, mind you, if you're new to the channel, all these pigeons are feral pigeons, wild pigeons. There is no season on trapping pigeons. There is no season, or quite frankly, there's not many regu regulations on even netting them by hand. Uh, just be careful what you do in city limits. So, this little place right here, this place is a hub for pigeons. Y'all have seen Jordan and I's videos. Enough uh, blabbing, I'm excited. Let's go. I hope it works. I really hope it works. If we don't catch as many as I want today, uh, we'll just keep this video rolling. See, they're all coming back. We gotta get up there. We'll just keep coming back though. If we don't catch enough, uh, we'll make it a couple, maybe a few day long video. You never know. We gotta get up there like now. Uh, I wanted to be here a little earlier today, but I've been busy filming other videos for y'all, so it put me a little bit behind schedule. We gotta hurry. Holy cow. Oh, we got a lot of them in the trap, holy smokes. Check this out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at this. We got a red one today, check him out. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, five, six, seven. Seven in the trap plus an auburn. That means one of them's a bait bird. So Jordan's gonna come and check traps in a little bit. He'll be happy about that. Ooh, that's not good. This is somebody's trap. We don't know whose it is. One just went under my foot. Ugh. So there's been a competitor up here. We don't know who it is. This is their trap. Uh, they got a dead pigeon in it. That's not good. They have not been checking it. So I'll be uh, contacting the owner, uh, the actual, the manager actually, that runs this place. Cause they haven't been here long enough to, uh, to check it so whoever it is they're not being very humane about it that's for sure but i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come right back in here i'm gonna crouch down see if we can make it happen it is disgusting oh look at this hey there little guys there were some new babies here we go though. I'm gonna be quiet and see if we can make it happen. Oh, look at this. Uh, so I'm sitting here. I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes and um, one thing about this is trying to not move. Uh, they're really used to it up here, as you can imagine. The ones that have been staying up here, uh, that are here every day, been here for months, if not years, who knows? Uh, they're used to the structure. So you have to get hid in a shadow and you can't move. That's the name of the game. I don't know if we're gonna get it done today. This video, like I said, if we don't get it done today, uh, we're gonna have to prolong it and that's fine. We can keep coming back every day and uh, sitting here and, and trying it out. But it feels like I'm dove hunting. 
This is what dove hunting feels like. If, if you ever wondered what pigeon netting on a rooftop feels like, it's like dove hunting. You just sit and sit and sit and wait around. Thanks, man. Yeah, somebody uh, did not check those. I don't know who it is yet. I'm fairly disappointed with it. Yep. Got a dead bird in the competitor's trap. It's going down. <laughs> this is pigeon wars out here, oh, dude. dude. Straight pigeon wars. We're winning. Yeah, oh yeah. But still, at least the competitor should take care of the stuff that he does catch. That That's what gets me. Is if oh, you're yeah. gonna catch him, take care of him. I mean, it, come on. It's true, it's true. I was, look at her eyes, you can tell. Yeah. Look at this big old beauty. Show them that wing real quick like you did. Good lord. Trapping beautiful birds out here. Look at that. Woo I miss pigeon hunting already, dude. Yeah. Golly. These are the pigeons. Uh, we just found a feed where these pigeons are at. Oh no, one got out. <laughs> he gone. You lost one. Oh, I lose again. a lot now so many there it seems like now that the warm weather's hitting or something there i mean there's just so many i think uh i'm gonna pack up for the day and i'm gonna try it tomorrow uh in the morning i'm gonna try the morning the sun will be out the back it'll be you know putting a big old shadow on me over in the corner i don't know it's worth a shot better bet yeah worth a shot let's we'll be back in the morning well it's a few days later and we're back at the truck stop as you can tell and boy howdy there's a lot of pigeons up there right now i mean a bunch uh i took some time and i started thinking to myself what am i doing wrong what can i do better because this new net that i bought and just the spot i want to make this happen i really want to net some pigeons and i want to get good at it and i want to find the secret uh so last time we were here the main the main issue was they knew i was up there and thinking back uh, whenever you get off of the roof and you pull that ladder down, right when they see that ladder go down, they all rush back right up to that rooftop. So I'm thinking when I get up there, I'm going to pull the ladder up and lay it down up top. And that'll give the theory that I'm not there because pigeons, if you don't know, 
uh, they have really really good eyesight and um, their memory is very very good as well pretty smart bird to be honest with you especially when there's structure like a ladder that tells them if something's safe or if it isn't so that's my theory i'm going to stick to it we're going to try it hopefully it makes a difference here oh boy yep i'll be darned <laughs> jordan's not lying <laughs> that's what i'm going to do i think this is going to work we're going to put this right here actually we're going to lay it down like that there we go hopefully that does a trick boy we got a lot of pigeons in the trap check this out but that's what we got going on. We got competitor trap one, two. And our trap is just dominating the game. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five with a bait bird. That's unreal. This trap has been producing, let me tell you. Crazy. But we're going to go over here real quick to my sitting spot. Oh, 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 I knew it. Oh, shit. Ah, I knew it. Son of a gun. Go oh, right there. That's a baby. That's a baby. Ah, I knew it. I about had them all. That's all of them. Ah, I should have been more ready. Darn it. Whew. Ooh, never a pleasant smell up here that's a that's a fresh egg though looks like that one is really really fresh there's a little baby walking around look at this right there those two guys what are you guys doing huh what are you guys doing just chilling huh that dude right there he's an ugly little guy baby's walking around this place is just getting worse and we're taking a lot of birds off of it i think jordan and i jordan primarily i think jordan and i we've taken 70 80 birds off this thing well here we are we're uh here to check the pigeon trap and this is the stairs i'm always talking about these will wear you out quick Oof. yikes i am I am out of shape, y'all. And I mean out of shape. <sighs> All right, we're here to check my other pigeon trap. Let's see what we got going on. Oh my goodness. I actually brought up two pigeons from uh, the other rooftop because I was gonna use them as bait birds, but looks like I won't need to do that. Check it out. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. One, two, three, four, five. Heck yeah, I'm completely out of bait. I didn't have uh, much in there. Woo, we're firing up finally. You don't know how many times I've filmed this trap and have not had anything in it. So looks like we're gonna be starting to fire up here. Good thing is I brought some bait. I'm gonna get these birds out, get it baited up, and I'll show you guys what's up. We're in business. We're gonna start running this trap real hard. Thank goodness that here at the place that they let me trap on the rooftop, they got water. We're gonna fill up their water jug and we're gonna run these traps real hard. Well, here we go. Got fresh water for them. Heck yeah, big shout out. It was one of you subscribers that sent me this trap. Uh, it was probably, what was it? This time last year. Awesome trap. Keeps them shaded and watered and fed. You're supposed to put the food in here, but I but I've seemed to have a lot more luck putting it putting the food right inside the doors. This is a six door system, two different chambers. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get all these birds out of here, but we're gonna leave some bait birds because they got food, they got water, they'll be good to go. Using bait birds is how you catch them, I'm telling you. It just gives them confidence to go on in there, you know? Got it. If you can give them a little bit of confidence, that's a young bird. He's a little guy. The thing to do as well as bait birds, like these two birds here, these are really adult birds. Actually, all four of them in here now. 
or all old adult birds uh, it's better to keep some older birds as bait birds again it shows confidence to go in there you know the aged bird is going to be smarter than the young ones so i would believe an old man over a young man if you know what i'm saying we're going to keep two bait birds in here we're going to keep one on each side i think that's going to be the game plan here so i'm just going to separate these two come here buddy you're going to go on this side and there we go close them up we'll be good to go but again, y'all, if you're using bait birds, you have to make sure you have food and water, especially during the summertime. Water is a must. This built-in little water system, it lasts quite a long time. Once it gets hot out, you can guess it, you can guess it starts evaporating pretty quickly, but it'll last four, three to four days. A lot of times, 90 to 100 degree weather, full of water. But we got our bait, we got our bait birds, we are set up. We are good to go. Let's shut her up. This trap is performing well. I'm happy with it. So by now you all have seen the new pigeon loft and everything and I've had a lot of questions about what I'm going to be doing with all the, <laughs> you can hear it, what I'm going to be doing with all the pigeons that I'll be trapping this summer. Now Jordan and I, we trap together. Uh, his barn loft is pretty much full. He's got to get rid of a lot uh, before he can take on any more. But this is where we're at. We're at my buddy Charlie's. This is where Fred is. This is where he's getting trained. And these pigeons, that's what they're going to be used for. To train Fred and the rest of the dogs here, here at Sand Hill Retrievers. Now, this is not my business. Sand Hill, uh, my Sand Hill Outfitters, my Sand Hill Flyway, and this Sand Hill Retrievers, completely two different businesses. This is Charlie's. We both live in the Sand Hills, and we just both named our companies the same name literally on accident so i'm gonna get these pigeons put away real quick but stay tuned we're gonna have a training session where we're gonna use the pigeons pigeons are a nuisance animal they're not good for businesses they're not good for the feces being everywhere on sidewalks they're invasive they repopulate and populate and repopulate again and again and really really fast my town it's stuffed with them as y'all as y'all can tell they're everywhere so if we can put these birds to good use, like training a dog, it's better than just shooting them or uh, eradicating them for no purpose. You know what I'm saying? People want them gone. It's the law. You can shoot them. You can get rid of them pretty much. So they make for awesome dog training tools, guys. So like I said, stay tuned for the video of that. It's gonna be one that y'all will not wanna miss. But if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're coming at you guys with four to five videos every single week. Y'all have been requesting the pigeon videos come back. They're back, we're doing them. We're gonna be using them for training Fred. We're gonna be a lot to come, y'all. So don't miss them. Big shout out to my notification squad, all of y'all that hit that little bell down there. Every one of you that are hitting the video and watching it when it's first uploaded. That right there, I see those numbers. And uh, as a YouTuber, those numbers, we respect you guys and we appreciate you guys. The avid viewers helping us out all the time. Do you like this video? If you want me to do another netting, try it again. I will. It's really hard, but I have another idea that I think will work. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.